This is Fan TV and I'm with Romford bench coach, part-time player coach, but unfortunately bench coach tonight, Jesse Hamill. Jesse, after last night's game, probably not the result you were expecting? No, I mean, we, we, uh, we got into penny trouble early. I think penalties that uh, I think we got messed around in the first period, as you guys did in the second. Uh, I can't fault refereeing for a loss tonight. We didn't bring it. So that's, that's just it. We had it 4-2. We're, we're moving. We're playing well. Actually, we're playing well. We're playing poor, actually. We're playing probably the worst we played all year. We're down 4-2 to this team. And uh, nah, we just didn't show up in the third. OK. Um, obviously, not feeling too good in this one. Can you, are there any positives you can take from the game tonight? We got uh, three quarters of the season left. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, uh, how do you take a positive out of an 8-2 loss after beating the best team in the league last night, taking them off the ice, supposed to play a simple game plan we're supposed to do tonight, same thing, and we just don't do it. You know, I, I, I really have no positives to take for tonight, to be fair. Uh, I guess I guess getting two goals and being 4-2 down or maybe the last five minutes of the first period, you know, maybe that's a positive. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm very disheartened and very disappointed, and, uh, and the guys know it. Fair enough. And what do you reckon you've... Well, what sort of mountain do you think you've got to get through for the next game? It's just we got to get back to, uh, to what we do well. You know, uh, this team has to learn how to play on the road. For whatever reason, we just don't play well on the road. We struggle, and, uh, and it's not good enough, and I've told them that. And it's basically down to a situation they will either work hard in practice on Tuesday or I'll skate them. And I'm not that kind of coach. You know, I'm a coach that guys like playing for, and we, and we get to have fun, and we, you know, we play a fun game when we do it properly. We don't do it properly. That's what happens to us. We just did not play well tonight. Uh, yeah, it's a mountain to climb. You know, if we'd have won tonight, we'd have been two points out of the playoff spot chasing you guys. Now we're six. We're back to where we were two weeks ago. You know, that's how we have to look at it. It's uh, up one part of the ladder, down two steps, you know. We've got to make sure that we continue to push forward, get better. Um, you know, we will have, we'll have one or two new additions to the team as we go uh, and try and get stronger. And, uh, you know, like I say, we've got a long way to go. But uh, I'm disappointed after what we did last night and what we've done the last, uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, this is a team that we could beat, you know, and that's, that's really disappointing. OK, and probably the obvious question tonight, how much have you missed being on the ice with the hand? Yeah, I mean, selfish reasons, yeah, I'd love to play tonight. Yeah, I'd love to have been out there, I'd have battled and, and done it. But uh, I, I want to be a coach. That's, that's what I want to do. I didn't want to play this year. I made decisions to, to get rid of imports um, when I did, uh, which, which forced me into a position that I couldn't find uh, someone that I was happy getting in. So, you know, I, I, I enjoy the competitiveness in the game, but I'm never a player coach. It is such a hard job to do. You try and control a bench and control what you do on the ice and try and, try and be, be competitive and try and sort of help the team and, and, and make an addition to the team, and it's, it's so hard. I, I need to be behind the bench where I'm, I'm better. Um, you know, the game's moved on. The game's moved past Jesse Hamill. You know, it's moved way past Jesse Hamill on the playing side. I know that. I'm not stupid. But, you know, there's nights like this where, yeah, I wish I was on the ice because um, I'd have given 110%. I, I, I made sure my cojones were out there, you know. OK, and on a happier note now, um, newest addition, actually, not to the team, but to your face with the moustache. Would you like to explain what that's with, please? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure my wife will agree with, uh, with happy on that one. Um, no, I mean, I, I found out about this, uh, this whole November thing uh, quite late in the month, to be fair. And uh, I know a few guys around the leagues are doing it. And I uh, just decided, myself and John Sitko and Alistair Band, we decided to, uh, to join up. And uh, we're going we're gonna to grow it till middle of December. Um, you know, we're going to do a full month like everyone else. We just were a little bit late starting. Um, so we'll grow it for that and, and raise some money for prostate cancer, which I think is a, a fantastic, uh, fantastic thing to do, a, a good charity to raise money for. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's something that affects us men. You know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's nice to do things for things that, that will affect you. You know, breast cancer is a great thing, but I feel hard. You know, this one sort of touched my heart that I can get involved. Everyone knows someone that's died of cancer. Um, you know, my, my grandmother died of cancer, you know, so it, it sort of touches me and allows me to, to get involved in a, in a and I guess, a silly way, make myself look bad. Um, but I don't have to dye my hair pink this time. Makes pleasant change, I suppose. So how long has this one been growing for now? Uh, this has been going since, uh, I guess it was last Friday. So we've got about a week on it. Um, you know, I think another three weeks on it should, uh, should really sort of max it out and uh, maybe give you a run for your money. Okay, mate, this has been going for a little while, but Jesse Hamill, thank you very much for tonight. And shame about the result. See you again soon. Thank you.